Jack it up. What is up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I'm using my webcam with uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay. And you know, I've done a lot of browsing on the internet for, I guess, subtopics and even threads on Reddit, and there's a lot of people having problems uh, with this specific webcam, the C920 from Logitech, which is very popular uh, for YouTubers. And they, you know, it doesn't work, either be it with broadcasting or just recording in general. Um, I had the same problem. It, it never worked in the first place when it was plugged in. I don't know why. And only recently did it start, or did it start to work. And, you, you know, it was a hit or miss shot for me. So, I mean, if you think about it, this video could be a how-to for you. But in reality, it may or may not work. Um... You know, like I said, it was like it was a hit or miss, and what I did happened to, to fix it. So I don't know if you've tried this, but just as proof of what I'm doing, I am using Shadowplay right now. In this bottom corner, it is on. This is how I'm using my camera and recording the video. You know, I'm capturing my desktop, and if we do head over to this uh, folder, you will see that it is being written right now, and it's increasing too. I, I hover over it, and it'll increase in size. So. What I did is I went ahead and opened up my task manager, and the shortcut is Control Shift Escape all at once, and I ended every task that has um, involved uh, that has to be involved with Nvidia. Of course, rather than my host uh, processes, which would be you know the the driver, of course, but applications. I and I ended the back end, especially the capture service, right? Um, I ended the network service, the settings, the user experience driver. Um, controller whatever everything to, to do with nvidia and the applications i ended right everything and uh i made sure that my webcam software was was ended i had my camera unplugged and once i did that i went ahead and opened nvidia uh, nvidia geforce experience and i went over to shadow play and i plugged in my camera and i remember i, I didn't turn this on yet I, I plugged it in right and once i plugged it in as soon as it went do 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 and it picked it up I turned it on and my camera's lights they turned on blue meaning my camera was on okay I was like okay so that tells me that it's working but beforehand whenever I would go to my Logitech software right it would tell me this it would be a connection error saying that is being used by NVS uh, P caps 64 which is Nvidia's pro capture service or processing service, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you try to reconnect it, it just it won't do anything because it's being used right now to record this video. Um, yeah. Sh <sighs> Again, stupid me thought this was somebody watching me, <laughs> and I did some research and I'm like, no, it's just Nvidia's capture service, which is, it's basically streaming, but I'm shadow playing, so I'm, I'm streaming, but I'm capturing it, but I'm not streaming to my Twitch. So I was like, okay, I closed this out, and uh, I hit exit, and that's when I went in to end all the NVIDIA tasks, all right, and I, I opened up GeForce Experience, plugged in my camera, turned this on, blue lights came on, and I'm like, just to make sure, I'm going to restart my computer, I restarted it, and left it as is, didn't unplug anything, and uh, GeForce Experience opened up, and sure enough, my camera still works. I don't know if any of you guys tried that, it's a so quick solution, it's a solution that worked for me. And it's amazing that I'm able to use uh, this capture service to record my gameplay at 60 FPS and my camera. Sadly, though, I have right light stuck on. Um, I won't. It won't let me uncheck it in my webcam settings. So everything that you see around me, or the just it capturing me, it looks like it's 15 FPS or so. Even though the actual recording is at 60, which you can see my gameplay is ultra smooth. But me in that little box is not so smooth, which is something I did notice. And I don't use OBS because OBS is very CPU intensive. And it, you know, if I go to play Titanfall or something, it locks my frame rate at 30 because I can't handle uh, <laughs> the, the technical specifications of that game when I'm using OBS or I forget the other application again, which I didn't think of it. <sighs> Just like my last video, I couldn't think of the name. Um, I know Linus and Markiplier use XSplit. That's it, XSplit. Okay, they use XSplit and you know, that's, my, my system is powerful, but it is still as taxing uh, for my specific setup. So I would rather use Shadowplay and use less amount of CPU because I'm only using around 40% right now. 
uh, and that's because I have Spotify and I'm, I am capturing and I have Chrome open because I am uploading, uploading this video. Make sure that's published. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Um, let me know if it worked for you. You know, I, I like I said, it's a hit or miss. Uh, leave me a like if it worked, leave me a dislike if it didn't, and that'll let me know that maybe it's something else involved, maybe drivers. I mean, I really don't know at this point. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next video.